Well, the terror of that attack spread quickly through Southern California tonight for many French and French Americans who live here. The tragedy hits especially hard on this Bastille Day. That's right. KK Lines Peter Doubt is live now in Hollywood where people gathered at a popular bistro tonight. Peter. Susie and Jeff, right now, dozens of people are here at La Poubelle restaurant in Hollywood to celebrate Bastille Day. Many of them are from France, but they also came together to grieve for all the people killed in Nice. The French restaurant's owner says July 14th is typically their biggest party of the year, but the truck attack certainly dampened the mood and also kept some people from attending. Los Angeles has a large French community with about 20,000 French nationals registered with the consulate. Those who did attend tonight's event say they wanted to show solidarity and that they refused to live in fear. The restaurant's owner says she grew up in France and his family in Nice. All of them are okay, and she refused to let the attack cancel the celebration. The initial reaction uh, we had was maybe we shouldn't do that. But then I said, you know what, I'm not going to be bullied into stopping what the essence of this holiday is about. It's exactly this, not allowing tyranny to overtake your life. A lot of people also came to this restaurant for a similar vigil and gathering back in November. You'll remember the Paris terror attacks. They say this is just another example of how their country is dealing with terrorism. They want to make sure it doesn't continue. Coming up on our sister station, CBS 2 News at 11, hear from a woman who recently moved to L.A. from France, her reaction and what she thinks Americans need to do. Jeff and Susie. Okay, Peter, thank you so much.